be at Gallus. Yeah, what it is, man. Not far away or far behind. Yeah, man. So I think the best song I ever did was John. I gotta talk about calls. I'm in. I'm in a couple calls. People, I made legendary songs, and people just make calls about them. Uh, Justice is a big one. Genesis was a good track. I made a couple good ones. LA Rise, there's so many, man. Shit. Let's look at another good one. Anytime you work for DC Comics, you have a call with you. I still have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have so many. Definitely Doom Eternal. Go, go to Google. Search for Steam Powered. Download the client app and search for Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal. And buy that game. Alright? You know what you're doing. What else? Uh, get Spotify. And uh, go to Rolls Royce's website. saying today. I mean, I think I made 10 videos. I'm not mad about it. Um, let's see. Ooh, alright, whatever. <coughs> yeah, that's it. So I posted my real name on my Facebook. Make sure you read it correctly. That's the only real instrument you have in a world gone mad with mnemonics, you know. So I talked about the the Nemo. Remember we talked about the old the old uh, satellites. In my last video. When you um, you know listen to trignology and mnemonics they use the same terms again and again but they sort of leave the underlying reasoning as mischief you don't really know what it is that's why when you kids get older start to understand study the history of words that's what etymology is all right youtube has a lot of this you can study all, all of the linguistics and things you'll see why it's so interesting to be learned because they'll make a prison city about you and your tribe and they'll rule you there that's what a ghetto is that's what a ghetto is Believe it or not, uh, many of you s tend to live in them. But what they are about is depravity. That's the term that you want to learn how to say, and you want to dis uh, you want to you want to disparage depravity. That's the last thing. We want to disparage scarcity too. There is abundance when you are wise. So don't ever let them tell that you that there's not enough, or they're keeping you broke. Right? That's the lesson there. Make sure you remain wise. Right?
This is the finest high grade, by the way. Never tobacco, ever. Raw paper, raw tips. See, see the tip right there? Uh, the M is the best with the Z. This one looks like a DNA helix, kind of. No, it's just a wishbone. That's it. Let's see? I use half of it. Right? I, I didn't roll the whole one. I don't. It's too much. I'm gonna take my time. Yeah, gallus me, babe. So I'm going to talk about law of attraction. Continuity is important in law of attraction. You need to keep doing the same things. Right? I put on my social media, the key to immortality is that live or die, you return Yay. back to your favorite love. So you keep you return back to your favorite love over and over. See? So that's a key to metaphysics. Don't don't fall out with things that actually matter. The key to value is it helps you grow and it helps you mend all the areas of your life and it gives you complexity to your intelligence and your determination and your passion. Passion is determination and love. Determination is just the will to work. Love is just, I have emotions, but I don't know how to direct them, you see? So the key with law of attraction is you can have the energy, but to have the intent, the intent is a distinct idea. It's like a point to, uh, to, or a destination where you want to be. That's what you want. So being able to formulate things is good. That's why a couple years ago, people were talking about mood boards. It may seem corny, but that's what you want. Artists, we have sketchbooks and we, and we, we practice things. You know, that's a lesson there. So, however you can inflect something, which is reflected off the conscience of your best mind and project it, that's the skill you want. So that's it. That's basically. Hmm. Uh, memory linguistics will help you solve most basic problems. Go to Google. Search for a steam-powered client. I had a client now. I'm going to spell that for you. Steam powered client. Ready? S T E A M space P O W E R E D space C L I E N T. Steam powered client. Search for that on Google and download the client and buy your games. Get Street Fighter 5 Champion Edition. Get all the games you like. I, I, I think I'm banned from making more games. It's getting controversial now. There was a meeting about it, but I was not there. Now I was. You can't get everything you want all the time. It's in a bar of overcash. Don't worry, I think it's about the Peugeot Onyx. It's Peugeot Onyx. So I'm going to do like a bolt on. No, I'm not going to talk about it. No, I have an idea, but I'm not going to tell you. Mm, um, so I talk about Steam Power Client, right? Use the client, get the games you want. Search for Street Fighter V Champion Edition. Buy all the DLC costumes for Sagat. Get them all. Pay for them. We take Visa. We take any debit card, any credit card, pre prepaid Visa. If you want to. Grubbies. It, man. That's live? <laughs> no, no, I'm just recording. I gotta, I gotta do something for YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. YouTube, man. What's up? So, seeing power client and get all the DLC for Sagat. For Sagat, get all those.
Ooh-ha. So I was getting high talking about the sovereignty and um, I was thinking about what the parable and the parity in me provide. And Ja in me says, remain ever wise. Is, there, is it hurting your persona? Are there lies in your facade? <laughs> Hi, society. So there's good work to be done, friends. So remember that uh, you got to survive and to do right by your tribe, okay? Mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters. You can climb that vine to God if you want to, but you'll never, ever conquer a cane body. So you never get to the top. It's tempting. You get up there and be so impressed on a couple of tip over and you'll just die. <laughs> So um, that's it for metaphysical tropes. I, I don't have much today. 12 minutes. I mean, 12 minutes, 22 seconds. Huh? I can yap just a bit. I thought of a couple jokes today. A couple profound epithets. Law of attraction is tricky. You have to learn about energies and dimensional uh, ascension. Like when things are getting better for you, that rhythmic ascension we talk about, that's the look you want. Rhythmic decline is when things are getting worse and you just mill hurt all the time. So always move to areas of ease. When things feel better, just go there. Don't constantly mill your guilt. You know, if you think you can heal something by exploring your mind, meditate. Ask yourself, where is my hurt and my pride? You know, what am I compensating for? Is there something I pushed aside? Is there something I forgot? That's why the deep MKLs are torture techniques. They'll like fuck you up real bad and like use drugs to help you forget. They'll mutilate you and put you back together. They'll do a lot of fucked up shit and you'll just like be in a haze of abuse and, and death and you'll never be free. So that torture is really evil, uh, sort of like uh, secondary side work. People will dress in whatever fuck it, outfit they can. That's why I'm saying you have to recognize like the jakes, like what it is that they wear. It's fucked up. Hopefully you could identify where they're at even before they can kill you because they have guns. Um, when it gets hyper violent, you have to understand what's going on. That's what I'm saying. That's another type of security. It's a gun be fooling you. You just survive. You know, even if they hack you to pieces. Remember Diablo 3? Try to look at all those spells. Those are actually voodoo spells. Some of them. So learn about why intelligence relative to your, your prowess is interesting. You know, but that's about things like the astral plane, paranormal energy, uh, really dimensional physics. Meta uh, I was talking about meta terrestrials. That's getting seductive now because you guys are waging wars over genetics and weapons and then you're spending money. See, so look at that triangle I just talked about. Genetics, warfare, and money. Right, I'm gonna give you a lesson. I talked about this before. The old Atlantean says that when they fell out, they went to these banquets of power and they genetically engineered themselves to be gods and then they hunted other humans. Right, but they were really all on the same plane. They just, they just sought to, out, to, to abuse each other, right? So there's a lesson there in terms of evolution. We're talking about um, the uh, Elohil, Enki, and Enlil, the more larger, uh, really more evolved, uh, we call them bioids or bipedals. They're just humanoids, taller humanoids, right? They're just different types. And there's different um, energies. Really, really, if you think about it, we were talking about Dungeons and Dragons, Wudan. The uh, Bible talks about... Um, he actually names them in the Bible. Yeah, they categorize them using their terminology. But uh, back then, uh, priests and sorcerers fled, flew back and forth from Africa. But it's about different, um, and clerics, and scientists, and mathematicians, and all types of physicists. But what it's about is that um, the battle was over types of energy, like what humans are doing now. Because E.T. leaped over us. They know that this is a lie of money. They can make blimps. We talk about blimp. Out of maglag and sustainable energy. So why did they ever touch the ground, you see? I wrote a poem on my social media. I think I did it twice. I talk about Myrrh, the Marur, and Amun Re. Myrrh, the Marur, and Amun Re. That poem, right? Who Myrrh is is an inscriber. He's just a guy that sees things. And he inscribes them on tablets. I am. 
the Ma'ur are really the people of Kemet in Egypt. They're just the red-skinned people, the Terra, Terra Nova people, really. Uh, and they lived in that region. They would see extraordinary feats of science all the time. And Amun Re is a god that would descend from the heavens or the clouds, they would say, in the literal sense, a golden cloud, they said, in a blue crescent at night. And he would actually dictate until the sunrise where he would rise up again and he would actually drop his family and leave them but he, they actually metaphorically symbolized it as a school so it was really like a vertical school but they actually said it was more like an elevator which is kind of ill you know in terms of the lit, lit, litany intelligence of what that lesson is uh, but it's just interesting you see what it is you read the old scriptures you could find knowledge about this all over the internet um, people writing up books and stipulating the net for many many uh, decades and there are many many uh, scientists that published all types of books, and then they research all the tablets and hieroglyphics and hieroglyphs and tell it over and over. So you're seeing the lesson here is that um, these are just traditional en energies between different beings of their levels of intelligence and genetics and the vehicles they use to move around. That's it. So it's just blimp high, blimp low, genetic engineering. That's it. We're back to that again. And different levels of intelligence based on your height and your skill. So that's dimensional order. That. Uh, Dimensional density, excuse me, and order. Dimensional density and order. Right. Now, what can you do at your level of genetics or intelligence, what you are? Uh, what can you do at your level of gen genetics and uh, how, how much you understand the systems around you? That's what order is. You know, Because if you can organize your mind to rule others, you will usually, some, in some cases, abuse it. That's the thing. That's why the, the Buddha warns about too much cleverness. That's the lesson there. Find refrain in things. See, see the happiness and joyfulness in others. When you think you have to rule others and you have a tool to do it, that's the real sin. Not the fact that you have tools that can rule everything. Right? If you had a ghost that can move every cup around so it was perfectly put in the right place, and it did it for you in one second, would you abuse that ghost and tell him to rule every man's mind and kill everyone that's my enemy? Half the earth if I have to, like Daniel says. If you think that way, then you fail. Right? The real lesson here is you bring everyone a book. And many others. And let them imbibe high mind into the way of the righteous teach them how to be grandmasters you see you have to teach everyone that skill hard skill though you got to learn it first so you should read the sutras watch the movie return to the 36 chambers it's also called master killer with gordon lou it's the one you want, it's the one you want. legendary shit man shaw school shaw brothers man. Right? So always embody the intelligence. On the vortex, I write about that sometimes. That's really the triple energy of positive, negative, and neutral. Uh, there's a new yin-yang also, which has, which has white, gray, and black. And a white, gray, and black dot in each other uh, sort of teardrop signet. Right? And then that's inside of the mandala wheel that you see, the eight mandala wheel. It's just the... Yeah, it's... It's the Wheel of Karma, a beautiful painting. I'll try to post that. I think I posted that before. You want to download those. You make sure I have those at home. That's the Wheel of the Navigator. And uh, that's it. We had a relationship with transport and herbalism. We had a lot of old deals inscribed in tablets in Asia. So those lawsuits are winning still. You can't defeat those. That's why metaphysics is a big deal. It's not Dungeons and Dragons. It's about voodoo spells. I talked about animal spirits and animal masks, right? I haven't said that much. But that was still a Hopi Elder teaching. Animal spirits and animal mask. The kaleidoscopic hologram wins everything. The kaleidoscopic hologram. You cannot defeat that. That's photonic light. That's photonic light. You see? I think I was awarded Pinafrida. I was working hard, man. I'm telling you. And you got to get your medical records. People will fuck with you all types of technology. They really want to buy things off of your demise. You know, and they go to court and woo all their milk and gear for her. But they're not doing nothing, man. I'll tell you. The real intelligence is what you want. So, you're going to see why. Yeah, that's what you want. I wrote that yellow track from my phone. You know, I'm fucking... Oh, I'm just, man. <laughs> the internet is the best. Never mire in lust. <laughs>